To love pleasure takes little. To love truly takes a hero who can manage his own fear. This is a brilliant line from the Masterpiece book by Clarissa Pinkola Estes, Women Who Run With The Wolves, which is absolute essential reading for every man and woman. So many of us think that relationships should be a place where we feel no fear, that if we feel fear or resistance or doubt or things come up that we don't want to face or deal with, that it means this must not be the one for me. And look, that could be. Sometimes it could indeed be our deep inner knowing arising as fear or doubt or discomfort that is telling us this relationship is not for us. But how can you know the difference? Well, first, it is essential to be aware that fear is normal. Entering into a relationship with another human is like two separate worlds, each with their own physics colliding into each other. There's destined to be confusion, fear, doubt, disorientation, perhaps even panic for some of us. After the honeymoon, which for couples who are telling the truth about their experience to each other, the honeymoon likely only lasts a few weeks or a few months at best. For couples that aren't consistently being honest with each other, you know, like pretending everything is okay when it may not be, you might get a little bit longer of a honeymoon, but the reckoning with what's really going on beneath your surfaces, it's coming. And it may prove even more challenging to face after not facing it for so long. Now, regardless, once the honeymoon wears off, and it will wear off, which is not a problem, but rather a natural reflection of the seasonal nature of life, but that is when we are met with the potentially challenging realities of the of the very human being in front of us who no longer resembles the promise of our fantasies this is when the real work of relationship begins and this is when the hero archetype within each of us must go to work and begin its essential journey of conquering whatever dragons or demons arise inside of our own psyche that we normally unconsciously project onto our partners and accuse them of being the scary monster who needs to stop being so scary so we can feel safe again. It's the hero within us all that gives us the courage and the resilience to overcome the monsters within, that allows us to see the person in front of us with clear eyes, eyes not clouded by the fears of our inner woundings. Maybe then, with that fresh set of eyes, we can see that indeed this person is not for us. Not because there's some monster or demon that we're making them out to be. No, but simply perhaps because there is a fundamental incompatibility in values or ways of wanting to be in the world. Or perhaps you can see simply you're not ready to do the deep work of real relationship. Or they aren't ready. But what I've learned in my many years of both doing relationship and coaching men and women and couples to have thriving relationships is that the true success of a relationship is not dependent on whether your partner continually changes to please you or make your fears somehow go away, but rather whether you are committed to doing your own inner work of confronting and managing your own fears. Now, if this message resonates with you, please hit the subscribe button below this video and consider subscribing to my weekly newsletter, Connections with Brian, at brianreeves.com slash subscribe. It's Brian with a Y, reeves.com slash subscribe, where I do my best to share with you insights and practices for thriving in relationship. Thank you for watching.